Hey guys, Chris here with Callier RV. Today I am going to show you a 2006 Winnebago Adventurer. This is a 33V model. So this is kind of an interesting coach. We actually took this in on trade from Georgia. We had customers that were vacationing in Illinois um, in their motorhome and they decided to trade in on a newer motorhome. So um, nice coach. It has nice full body paint. Um, I'll just kind of go around and show you, you know, everything it's got. The main thing to know on this motorhome, though, is that the previous owners were cat owners, and they had the cats in the RV. So it's got uh, some cat smell to it, and then the cats caused some damage as far as the furniture is a little torn up, and a lot of the blinds uh, for the windows were removed. So, you know, we priced it accordingly, but I think... Uh, you know, if you clean this thing up, this would be just an awesome motorhome. Great Winnebago quality, of course, full body paint. You got a really nice front cap. This is on a workhorse chassis with 67,000 miles. So, workhorse is nice. It's got a big engine and a uh, big block Chevy, 8.1 liter. The tires are dated 2013. They look all right, but that's kind of getting to the point where you might want to think about replacing them. You do have a power awning, even though this is a 2006. And then this is a Weather Pro, so the awning's wrapped when it's in, and then you actually have remotes to put it in and out. There's a radio outside here, obviously the nice big baggage door, so if you lift those up, you'll have full pass-through storage. You have a triple step, entry step, so that comes out automatically. So the bedroom's on a slide out. And the nice thing on this adventurer, that is um, the air conditioning system. So you have basement air, so Winnebago would um, route the air conditioning up through the back wall and then through the roof vents. So it's just a really cool system. It allows the motorhome to be shorter. You're not quite as tall. Um, you have the nice skirt down there. So if you're towing, that will uh, definitely help keep the car clean. So you should have no problem towing with this motorhome big engine transmission this is an Allison transmission so there's your hitch and then you have generator exhaust back there all right so the adventurer really would be top of the line as far as gas motorhomes from Winnebago so definitely a full featured coach and the uh, outside really looks great Got the nice dark tint to the windows. I thought they were frameless, but they are actually framed in. So you can open those up, get good airflow, and then they do the nice thing where they uh, incorporate the storage compartments into the slide box so you're not crawling under a slide to get your stuff. So that's definitely a great design. So great thing um, on these used Winnebago's, you know, they're um, to such a degree a real manufacturer compared to other people building motorhomes now. So they make their own furniture, they make their own cabinets. Um, so it's really easy if you need to get replacement parts or if you need to get um, electrical diagrams or plumbing schematics, all of that's readily available. And that's not the case with most of the rest of the RV industry. So just a great layout. You have this nice chair with an ottoman here. You have good quality um, driver passenger seats obviously you can see they both rotate even um, like these arms are adjustable for height so there's a lot of adjustment in the seats so here's your workhorse front end so you have leveling jacks to the left of the steering wheel as well as a battery boost um, turn overdrive on or off you have a driver door on this motorhome so there's actually a power window on here which works and then otherwise you can get out if you need to get gas or need to make a quick uh, escape from the motorhome. You can do that. You have power heat, power and heat to the mirrors. You have the nice newer flat screen up front. And then it looks like they installed the previous owner some sort of workstation. So that looks like it was well done. And then with this chair, there is a flip up table here. So... A little spot to eat or to read a book. The couch is um, one of the electric couches from Winnebago. So basically the bottom piece will pull out and then you have electric where the bottom cushion will come towards you and then the back cushion drops down. So you can actually make that into a two-person sleeper. So it's just a, a really terrific design. Um, 
but you can see just the really nice craftsmanship, really nice woodwork, all the overhead cabinets, table, and then if you lift up those cushions, you'll have storage underneath on both sides. Um, but I wanted to show, so you do have some fogged up windows here and there, and then where there should be pull down curtains, those are missing. And I didn't check every window, but I think pretty much every window besides the driver passenger area, the shades are missing. And that's just because the uh, crazy cats decided to hang on the window shades and rip them up. So we just removed those. But I think you could probably still order all of those from Winnebago, which actually I know you can. So if you wanted to go through that process, you certainly could. But tons and tons and tons of kitchen storage all the way around, lots of outlets. Um, they use Corian countertops in this and then even the, you know, the fixtures are really nice. Upgrade, the good sprayer on there. So no oven, you would have a three burner cooktop and then the microwave's a convection. And you have a nice power fan in the roof. So four door fridge. And then you do have an ice maker. And we have done an appliance check on this motorhome, so we would uh, guarantee when you come pick this up, the fridge will be working, air conditioner, furnace, um, really the major appliances on this coach. So a little pantry there. This is your main uh, control panel. So a lot of really nice stuff. You have um, your generator, which we fire that on. I may be too low on fuel, I'll see if that kicks on. But you can start your generator from here, you can turn your water heater on um, gas or on electric, and your water pump. So, generator fires on, that's got just over a thousand hours on it. You also have a power um, line system, which I guess this is not hooked up, so don't worry about that. <laughs> but. Uh, Normally that would tell you what you're connected to as far as power if you're running off the generator if you're plugged in. So house batteries are good, they're at 12.6 and then your engine battery right now is at 12.1. These are your tank monitors, black, gray, fresh, propane. All right, and then your air conditioning and your propane for the furnace you can control from here and then you do have a heat pump in the air so if you switch this to electric heat you can actually get heat to come out of the air conditioning ducts so that's nice and you don't have to worry about running your furnace all right it looks like you do have an inverter on this model so that would allow you to run probably a couple outlets off of the batteries i would just have to see which outlets are actually on the inverter so, bathroom looks good. Open this up, so. Nice big shower. You know, I looked around this coach, I couldn't see anything that would look like uh, leakage of any sort, so that's definitely a good thing. All right, so you have a queen bed here. We'll have some storage underneath there. And then on the other side, big bank of cabinets, big wardrobe area. And then they put a little desk or makeup station there with a little ottoman to sit on. And they have upgraded the TV now to a nice flat screen. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, this coach is in really good shape. The only things, again, uh, previous cat owners. So you do have a cat smell in here. And then your... Um, a lot of your shades are missing. Other than that, this is really a fabulous motorhome. Um, really top-notch quality. And a really nice floor plan as well. So, again, this is a 2006 Winnebago Adventure. This is a 33V model. So, if you have any questions at all, please give us a call here at Collier RV. We'd love to help you out. Um, our number would be 815-332-3322, or of course you can find us online at collierrv.com. All right, thank you very much for watching. Bye.